Bees, some of the most common pests we have today, are vital to life as we know it. A life without bees, as professional gardener Colleen Plimpton puts it. Oh my gosh. Boy, that would be a sad place. In the last 10 to 15 years, bees have discovered a new threat. There's a time in America when bees were immensely overworked, causing a decline in the population. We have maltreated the bees. We have bees in hives that go from field to field to field, and it's just very stressful for them. That's one of the reasons that bees are declining. Imported bees were brought in to fulfill the need. However, they were infected with a foreign pest that harmed species. Beekeeper Peter Phillips says, One is a varroa mite, which uh, eats the uh, young larva, and then there's a trachea mite, which is, gets into the breathing tubes of the bees. Both of them weaken the bee. They can't collect as much honey as they used to. There's not that much honey left for me. There's not as much pollinating, and there's not enough honey left in the hive to get them through the winter. The trachea and the varroa mites have devastated the honeybee population to close extinction and have been a factor in the phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder. A, a good strong hive will have about 50,000 bees in it uh, in, the, in the peak of the summer. Uh, the queen this time of year is laying 2,000 eggs a day. Colony collapse disorder is an affliction wherein a seemingly healthy hive will be there one day but be gone the next. Bees are uh, currently poll pollinating about 30% of everything we eat. If you have less bees, you have less pollination. If you have less pollination, you have less food. Beekeeping is about a uh, $10 million industry, which is supporting uh, about 3 to $5 billion in agriculture. So you're economically, you're going to lose with agriculture. You're also going to uh, not have enough food. Take 40% of your uh, fruits, vegetables, and, and, and products, uh, and you wouldn't have them. You wouldn't have almonds. You might not have apples. Uh, you wouldn't have oranges, or you wouldn't have as many, or the prices would uh, triple or quadruple in price, the ones that you could get. The thousands of worker bees will abandon their hive after a number of factors have stressed their population. Unfortunately, I see fewer bees every year, and this is because a lot of people use pesticides, which are death to bees. Ecological or green pesticides do the same job as traditional pesticides without hurting the environment. Traditional pesticides have chemical additives which not only hurt animals and insects but also hurt the environment. Water, crops, and animals including humans can and will be affected negatively. However, a green pesticide that is made with all natural materials would only affect the unwanted aspects without poisoning the ecosystem. Even the everyday gardener can use environmentally friendly products in their garden. As troubles with the ecosystem escalate, more and more people are opting out of using harmful chemicals for their own personal garden. For more advanced gardeners, another form of procreating plants, such as flowers and shrubs, is called hand pollination. In hand pollination, one would brush pollen onto each plant. Yes, oh, they're very effective, but you can only do it on a small basis. And people, you just don't have enough time in your life. You can't do it the way Mother Nature can do it with her pollinators. If a smaller, more personal garden is developed without enough pollinators, this method would be able to maintain bright and beautiful flowers. However, for a space as large as a field, the health of the bees is necessary to maintain. A process known as sugar dusting has been developed very recently to combat the trachea and varroa mites that have plagued the bees. Jason Morgan, a supporter and advocate of sugar dusting, says, while the live mites on the bees will fall off, there are many other mites still sealed in the comb with larvae that will emerge when the bee emerges. So it's necessary to do at least three dustings one to two weeks apart to get these mites as well. The suction cups of the mites are loosened by the powder sugar used in this process. The powdered sugar causes them to fall off from the bee and are caught easily in a sticky pad at the bottom of the hive. We can protect the bees using these simple methods of green pesticides, hand pollination, and sugar dusting. You can easily do your part to help save Mother Nature's precious pollinators. Bees, they're some of the most important pests we have today.